An old shed next to some bike racks is not the place you'd expect to find cutting edge space technology. But in here, engineers from Astrium are testing out their latest concept for clearing up space debris, a space harpoon. Astrium's idea for helping clean up the thousands of items of space junk that pose an increasing risk of collision to satellites is to target the biggest objects with a relatively straightforward concept. The advantage of the Harpoon is that it's very simple. Um, there are no complex dynamics or, or anything like that. Uh, in fact, the what testing that we do on the ground is very, very representative of what happens in, in, in space. It means that we can develop something which is quite low cost, it's very reliable, very robust, and also it doesn't de generate any extra space debris. That's one of the most important things, so that we mustn't generate any more debris uh, and make the problem worse. What we want to do is to have a satellite which approaches the target, so the space debris, uh, fires a harpoon into it, the harpoon locks onto the target, um, then there's a tether which is attached to the back of the harpoon to the chaser. Uh, the chaser satellite then tows the target back into the atmosphere where it burns up safely. The design of the harpoon is, is fairly simple. What it consists of is a section at the front here which has a set of barbs. Uh, it has a shock absorber section here um, and then a shaft which goes into the gas gun at the back. So what happens when this hits a target is it penetrates through the wall the shock absorber is crushed slightly and that releases the barbs. The barbs then open, like, like so, um, and then when the tether is pulled, um, it's pulled out of the, the target like this and the barbs lock on um, and that means that then we can apply a force to the, to the space uh, junk and tow it back into the atmosphere. While there aren't yet any space cleanup missions planned to target debris, Astrium is trying to ready its space harpoon for whatever targets it might be needed for. Three, two, one. Whilst it's a fairly simple concept um, at the kind of microscopic level, one of the issues was that we didn't really know how the targets would behave. Um, and also we don't really know the exact details of all the objects that are up there. In fact, there's a huge diversity of objects from old rocket bodies to old satellites. They all look very different. So we had to design something which was uh, very versatile and could um, tackle all these different objects whilst at the same time we didn't really know how they would behave. So we've built a lot of flexibility into this uh, and a lot of parameters that we can tweak. So for example, the crushable section of the shock absorber section here gives us a lot of uh, uh, capability to tailor that to different targets. Um, with the firing system we're using compressed gas so we can control the firing energy uh, very carefully as well. So basically we've aimed for something that's very flexible 